Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to be looking at Harrow for our Eidolon 2020 guide. This sort of rounds off our mainstream kind of squad frames, uh, and then in future videos maybe I'll have a look at some of the more offbeat DPS. We might go back to Ivara, uh, we'll look at Garuda maybe, and also Wisp, um, just to cover those. But yeah, we're just running over Harrow today just to kind of complete the set. Um, so yeah, we'll just quickly hop into the build here. It's a fairly straightforward build, same as the last one. Uh, so if you see my last guide, it's pretty much the same. Um, so yeah, corrosive projection, obviously. Um, Co-action drift, this is interchangeable with handspring, depending on what your squad is running. Uh, and then I've just gone for max efficiency. Obviously, we want to be casting our fourth quite a lot, so it's good to have max efficiency. I've just got a rank four fleeting expertise, along with a rank four streamline. Um, the reason I've done done it this way um, is because I want to hit the nail on the duration. Um, so 93%, you don't actually need duration that high, um, but 93% is pretty much as good as you can get it in terms of how long you can achieve on your fourth ability. So it's really useful for when the Eidolon is standing up and we're trying to get a good crit buff uh, for whatever DPS we're using because we have a lot more time to, to gain damage on that. So yeah, that's why we've got it a bit higher than we might usually do. But yeah, it pretty much is exactly the right amount of time that you need uh, in between each um, each Eidolon scream phase, I guess. So that's why we've done that. Um, everything else is pretty standard. Um, strength's up a bit here. You could put more strength on if you wanted to. You could sacrifice some duration, obviously, but obviously... I prefer the longer duration, more invincibility as well, so that's why I've gone with that. Um, Arcane Guardian and Arcane Energize, again, personal preference, you can go with whatever you want here, nullifiers, whatever. It doesn't really matter for nullifiers if you're running Harrow, but yeah, that's just what I like to go with. And then on our primary, you can just run whatever you want, we're not already going to be using it. In fact, we shouldn't really be using it at all, maybe if you just want to try and headshot the idol on at the end for fun, or whatever, yep, you can use primary. Uh, no secondary and melee, so we can hop off Arcwing really quickly. And then Madurai, obviously, for Voice Strike, uh, which is our, yeah, VS. So yeah, that's the build. Um, in terms of everything else, I'm running a Sahasa Kubrow, just so I can um, get some more energy orbs digging up uh, for me. I don't know why he's over there. Uh, and then, yeah, it's Alf speed, um, so... Fairly straightforward, um, but what we'll do guys, we'll just hop into the plane, and yeah, we'll do one run through. So we'll hop in now. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are just waiting in the gate here to go in. What we're going to do when we get out, obviously we're going to jump forward and get into our operator, and then we're going to dash over to proc wisps. Not wisps, sorry, vonvalists. There we go. So we're going to mark them for our chroma, and then we're going to come over to the Eidolon here. I'm dashing because it's fairly close by, you don't have to do this obviously. Um... And it does waste a couple of pads getting over, but I'm trying to get as high a void strike stacks as I possibly can for the first shield. I'm just going to wait a bit to proc our virtual shadow here, just so we have it ready. Get our wisp, and then, yeah, we're going to shoot. And there we go. Two really big crits there, so that worked out well. Uh, I should point out that in this run, we, we do have an Avara DPS. Um, so it's not running... It won't run as smoothly as a melee of Ara as well so uh, but it's still a pretty good run um but we do get long spawns i believe so just bear that in mind um when we're doing this but yeah so basically as you can see we are proccing our shadow here by head dashing <clears throat> grabbing a wisp coming back over then just before the leg raises you can shoot or just as the leg raises sorry uh, I should point out that as well, when you're proccing your shadow as Harrow, um, a lot of people don't really know when to do it because they struggle uh, managing to proc shadow and get wisps and then get back in time. Um, when the Eidolon's shield goes down and the limb breaks, he'll go down and then as soon as he starts up his scream, that's when you can start um, proccing shadow. So it's it's usually, I think the down phase is about 17 seconds total. So if you, after the limb's broken, you wait about four or five seconds and then you head dash then you should be guaranteed to have um your virtuous shadow for when the uh, when you have to shoot again um obviously if you don't get it the first time uh you come out you go back into your harrow you use your fourth so that your teammate don't get um mag procced 
and then you go back in and you can try again afterwards um you might be a bit short of time then but to be honest um you should be able to do it and yeah just like you saw there we used our fourth ability we're going to stand around and try and get the chroma as much damage as possible or well, not the chroma sorry the dps um, which is Ivara in this case and then we're going to come back over to the shrine with our teammates getting ready to put our our shards in there we go So yeah, I think we get a long spawn here. First limb goes down a bit slowly, but you should get the idea. We're going to come over to the shield and shoot down at the ground to try and proc our uh, shots a bit earlier. Obviously with Proper it takes a while for them to detonate, so we want to get in the way as much as possible. Try and shoot them into the ground. And yeah, you see here, after he starts screaming, we're just going to dash above the head. Our virtuous shadow proc there, you can see. Come under, grab a wisp. There we go. Then when the reg, when the reg, when the leg reaches uh, its highest point there, it's his left leg, um, you want to shoot your proper. It is dependent on ping as well, I should point out. If you've got a really, um, a really good ping, like around the 20 or 30 region, then you want to be shooting later. And uh, conversely, if you have a really uh, bad ping, like 100, you want to be shooting a bit, a bit earlier. Um, so bear that in mind. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, the Gantlis has been put in a pretty awkward position here, so it's a bit tricky to uh, get wisps and such. But we make do. So yeah, really from here, it's kind of rinse and repeat. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's Harrow is it really hasn't changed at all, to be honest. Um, the only thing, obviously, that's changed with everyone is the fact that um, we no longer have our it's our spammable blink but to be honest on harrow that really doesn't matter since we don't really need to get anywhere that fast <laughs> but yeah if you guys um have any questions about this feel free to leave them in the comments um the gan the uh, hydra sorry is basically the same process as the gantalist um and you'll see here obviously you want to use our fourth ability as he's getting up and then we want to sort of run around um, and yeah, try and gather as much damage as possible. You lost to see I'm um, sort of dashing around Vonvalis. We're trying to help the the DPS and the Trinity charge lures, so that's something you can help with as well. Don't be a passive Harrow. I know Harrow is probably the most boring role you can play, but do make sure that you are you're, you're help, trying to help out as much as possible. Go around, dash over Vonvalis, try and help charge things. And then we go, he's getting up, so we're going to use our fourth. Tree. So our our DPS unfortunately went down here, so it was a bit longer before we could get the kill. Oh my god! Wait, where is it? Oh yeah, we're gonna dash back to shrine now. <laughs> oh shit! <it's here. laughs> I mean, I'm close, right? I pre-fired already. Nah, it doesn't work only first run. One thing to note as well, I've said it before, but if you want to be able to put your shard in the shrine as your operator, you need to pick it up as your operator. If you pick it up in your frame and then go into your operator, you won't be able to place it as operator. Overshot there a bit, but we got it alright. So yeah, dash above the head, try and proc shadow. I didn't have multiplayer, that's Same process as the Gantalist. list. Yeah, but I had zero multiplayer. Because I died. But the only reason why you were blocked. Oh, I see. Just wait for my wisp to be on it and stop the thing. I should point out as well, um, if you're running Shraxen, if you still like Shraxen, you actually have a bit more time to uh, proc shadow. Obviously with Proper you've got to fire a bit earlier, so that's one thing to note. Uh, as well as that, we didn't actually see it here, but um, if you do want to help out a bit more, 
you can always park your frame when you go to shoot the first limb. Um, so Harrow could put his frame on middle spawn, for example. Uh, and then obviously you can proc your proper shots. You can get them to detonate earlier by firing them at your, your frame. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Basically the same. So, uh, yeah. Again, let me get, let me know if you guys have any questions about this. It's fairly straightforward. Um, but obviously, I know. And also, if you have any um, some tips as well, if you know anything that might make Harrow a bit more fun to play or something like that, then yeah, do let me know. Um, but yeah, I think I'll just use this last bit of time on the video to talk about some other stuff. So, in terms of DayZ content, I know I said in a previous video um, that we'll be doing a bit of a series on that. Unfortunately, the server seems to be having a bit of difficulty at the moment getting started, so that might be uh, either not happening or just postponed for a while. Um, but yeah, we'll see about that. Um, in terms of Warframe content, obviously right now, um, I'm just trying to get these uh, Eidolon guides for 2020 done, and then I'll be looking uh, to get some new content out after that, so let me guys know if you want to see anything. Um, I'd also like to apologize to everyone who had Prime Chamber before, uh, and their their market value has sadly uh, depreciated quite a lot. Uh, I think that was a bit of a, a weird thing to do by ADE, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks very much. I don't know. I only get booster phones.